Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. So today for my, wait what, Wednesday tip video, I wanted to touch on the stamp cleaning pad. The heck is that, right? So when demonstrators first got their hands on the new catalog in April at On Stages all over the world, this was in there, stamp cleaning pad. And we were like, hey, what's that? Like there was a buzz going around. We were asking each other, does anybody know what that stamp cleaning pad is? Everybody was like, no, I've never heard of it. So today I'm going to show you what the stamp cleaning pad is, what it does, and give you some tips about it. Let's flip the camera around and I'll show you. All right, so I haven't even opened this thing yet. So we're gonna experience this together. I thought that would be fun. Pop that open. Be careful with the dangerous scissors. Remember the other day I nipped my finger and there was blood. <laughs> Ugh, horrible. So inside this package is a little explanation. It says removes classic Stampin' Ink and craft Stampin' Ink from rubber and photopolymer stamps. Warning, to avoid damaging photopolymer and cling stamps, use water to rinse the cleaning solution from the stamp as soon as possible. To use, you're gonna remove excess ink from the stamp, then tap the stamp on the cleaning pad. Wipe stamp with a dry cloth. Seems pretty easy, right? Let's take a look at this thing. Okay. Got a little bit on my nose. It doesn't smell like stays on. I love the smell of stays on. But please note, you're not supposed to sniff stays on. But it does, it smells like almond extract, I think. It could be the reason for a lot of my memory issues. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it says craft ink, regular ink. I went and grabbed a photopolymer stamp set and I wanted to get out a stamp set that was stained because you know, this is happening to our stamps when we use red inks on them, right? So I thought I'd pull this out, slap it on a block. I'm just gonna grab some of our, um, this is our floral grid paper. So pretty. I think it's still available too. If you do a search in my store for floral grid paper, I think you'll find it. All right, so we have this stamp that's been stained forever, okay? So this is not fresh ink. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So I'm just tapping it around, rubbing it. That's quite a bit lighter. I'm gonna get out my chamois, and this is just damp with water. You've seen me use this lots of times. Well, look at that. I think it's lighter, but it's still pink, right? So just know that it will clean your stamp, but it's still pink. Now, I have to remember to rinse this under water because that's what the instructions say. So let's try a stamp that does not have a pink tint to it. I'll use this greeting stamp that is, you know, perfectly clean. We're gonna use Melon Mambo, one of my favorite reds. Whoops, I just stuck my finger in there. Yeah, thank goodness we're not doing any real projects today. I'm gonna stamp that, there's our red ink. I'm gonna clean it off on the chamois, and then you can clearly see that it's stained pink, right? So now we're just gonna put it in the cleaning pad. And I'm just tapping it around, pushing it down. Oh my gosh, look at how nice that is. I just cleaned it off of my chamois and check out the difference. Okay, so if you're stamping in reds and you don't like that your stamps are getting tinted a pink color, you can use the stamp cleaning pad to clean them off right away. You can see that while it did clean some of the ink off of this other stamp, it did not take away all of the pink. So I'm just gonna clean this a little bit more here because I still see a little bit of pink. So for those of you that are a little anal, and believe me, I have my issues, <laughs> um, this may be a great option for you. Again, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to set it with this one so I can rinse it with water because that's what it says to do. All right, now what about craft inks? Let's take a look at this. So I brought out one of my red rubber stamps and we're gonna put this on a block and I'm gonna stamp that 
with some craft ink. And I have noticed before, I'm sure if you guys use craft ink, you've also noticed that it tends to stick to your stamps and it doesn't come off all the way. Oh my gosh, I love the smoke. The smoke is from the Geared Up Garage or an oil stain or whatever you want to call it. I like this. I think the smoke is cool. Okay, so we're going to clean that off on our chamois. And while most of that ink did come off in these detailed little bits of this stamp, I can see that that craft ink is still in there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but trust me, I'm not lying to you. I do not lie. Oh, you can see the white in here. See how that turned a little bit white there? Ooh, look at that. So I'm going to wipe that off in my chamois. And now all of that white ink is gone. Okay, so it works great for craft ink too. Let's see, what else do I have here? I think this was stays on. Let's try that. And again, we're going to rinse this off with water. So I'm going to set it aside. And you can see that this stamp is stained with some black. Oh, look at that. You can see the black on there. This isn't intended for stays on, but I'm pretty sure that was stays on on this stamp and it cleaned it right off. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you there, but it worked great. And again, I'm going to put this over here so I can rinse it off. There is a refill with this. And since our new catalog went live, I can show you this page. Remember, I couldn't show you the inside of the catalog. So the stamp cleaning pad and refill is $7.50. You can also get a reinker. It'll look like this with the solution that's in this cleaning pad for $3.75. Don't forget to rinse your stamps off when you're done using the cleaning solution on them. That's just the best way to go about it. This is on page 182 in the big catalog, or you can go to my online store and just look for stamp cleaning pad. If you type that in the search, it's gonna pop right up and you'll be able to um, order some of this. Now I know for a lot of people, when their stamps don't get all the way clean, it's an issue. They don't like it. Me, I don't really care. Um, <clears throat> I think that a stamp set that looks like this looks like it's used. It looks like I've had fun with it, and it was a good investment for me. <laughs> That's the way I think about it. But if you're anal and want your stamps to be crystal clear again, and I get, I get it because I have my things, right? This might be the solution for you. It works better when you use it right away after you're done stamping with the reds, okay? Better than if you were to go after your stamps that have already been stained red. So, there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful for you. You know exactly what this does, what you need to do with it. Um, it also says avoid contact with your mouth and harmful if swallowed. So, please don't lick this. And please don't drink out of the refill bottle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you did not get a copy of this brand new catalog, please let me know. I would love to send you one if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'd love to earn your business. You can email me. I'll put that, my email address right here on the screen. Kelly at a stamp above.com. Email me your address. Let me know that you would like a catalog and I can get that right out in the mail to you. Your orders are always appreciated to help me defray the cost of postage. And you will also find my online store on my blog. If you click right up here, it'll take you right there. The online store button is in the right hand column. You'll see a brand new monthly host code there. Use that when your order is under $150. You'll get some special perks from me. If your order is over $150, don't use that code. Stamp it up will give you $15 at $150. You'll get $15 in free product of your choice. It also includes the only time you can order these exclusive stamp sets in the back of our catalog is when your order's over $150 and you're getting Stampin' Rewards. Look at this, Soft Spring, absolutely gorgeous, only $9.50. These are deeply discounted to be an extra bonus to use with your rewards. Here's another one, we have a punch. Whoops, I wanna move my ink pads out of the way. We have a punch that matches this one. Time for tags, $12. Look at this cute one, New Wonders, $13.50. Believe you can. 14 photopolymer stamps for $13.
I love these host only sets. And again, you can only get them when your order's over $150 and you get Stampin' Rewards. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. If you need a catalog, let me know. I'm always happy to send you one. And I wanna thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. We both learned something about this stamp cleaning pad. I think it's pretty cool. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. And don't forget to click on the bell, ring on the bell on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. That will give you notifications every time I post a new video. Have a great Wednesday. Bye-bye.